welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video all about our baby boy's new nursery room tour and to give you a little bit of background into this room we moved into our new house a few months ago now and his room was one of the first we started but it's only just been finished this week due to the fact that we were waiting on his windows to be replaced. That has been now done and the room is pretty much finished bar maybe a couple more bits of furniture in years to come but it's not a priority now and overall I'm really pleased with how the room has turned out. We've done it as a loose travel and bird themed nursery but to be honest it's just really a mishmash of everything now and yeah we're really really pleased with it. If you're new to my channel then my name is Katie, I have three children who are six, four and one and we are in the middle of a massive house renovation so expect lots of interior type videos and all other type videos as well. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and yes I'm just going to get started and show you his room. So as you come in the door, the first thing you will notice is his wall of photos and I, when I started doing his room I originally wanted to do it a travel and bird themed room but to be honest as time has gone on I've just sort of done it any sort of mismatch way really but I really wanted to show our love of travel as a family because as a family it's something that we're really passionate about and our baby boy is really lucky that he has been to quite a lot of places considering he is only little. So what I have done is I have put a photo of each of the places Places that he has been abroad. I've put them in one of these cheap IKEA river frames and they are really good because they are pretty reasonably priced and they are always in stock if you happen to break one or if you need any more for whatever reason. And then I have got just letter stickers of Amazon and I have stuck those onto the frame. So for example, Leger skiing or San Francisco, Dubai, Amsterdam. And I thought that as he gets bigger, he can add to that and we can put them all the way Way down the wall if we happen to go on any more travels and I just really liked that idea and then next to it that teepee is from a company which I can never pronounce called Verdebude I think and they do amazing kids stuff um, interior stuff and clothes but kids interior stuff is what I buy from there and they have this teepee which I absolutely loved because it went with the colors of his room and it went with the kind of travel and adventure theme they use it a lot but because it's quite big I tend to just pop it in the corner there out of the way when they're not using it and then if we come along here this map had pride of place in his old room and it has pride of place in this room as well and that is a company that I found on not on the high street and the lady is also on Instagram it's called Louisa Elizabeth and she makes customizable maps of your travels so you put in pins about different things that you've done so either places you want to go or places you've been and the girls absolutely love this as a way of documenting their travels and it's such a lovely quality and I really really love it and then if we go down a little bit his chest of drawers was in his old bedroom they are from a company called Burry and they make really great quality nursery furniture so they have come with us and on the top there we have got his little elephant that's from my first years I am a sucker for anything that's personalized with their names so I absolutely love that and then as you move along these blocks again were in our old house and I actually bought these for him when I was pregnant with him. I just absolutely fell in love with them. Again, they are from Instagram. I find a lot of things on Instagram. I get a lot of inspiration from there. And this is a small business called Myla and Oscar. And she hand paints and makes these blocks. And they're absolutely incredible. I love them. And we have got some more. But they are put away. And so I've only got these ones out. And I just think they're lovely. And I think they really add to the room. And add a little bit of colour to this chest of drawers and then moving along this little bus was actually I used to play with it when I was a baby it used to live at my Nana's house and she very kindly said I could have it and bring it here and yeah I just love it but it's a bit too precious to actually play with and then this print the lights a bit funny is from again an Instagram seller called Freddy the Kid and I just thought the feathers and the wild heart tied in with the bird theme and then if we go down here, I leave his changing mat there just because I don't use it all the time. So I find it easier just to put it away there. And then I have some storage out for him and some toys out for him for when he wants to play with them when we're in here or if I'm tidying up upstairs. And that big storage basket is again from Verdebude. They've got some really good storage on there actually. 
And then if we go up here, these little Russian dolls just, I think, add a little bit of colour to an otherwise really white area. And they are from a company called Sketch Ink. Thinking about it, I don't remember the last time I saw them on Instagram, so I don't even know whether they're still kind of operating but my husband got them for me a few years ago I love Russian dolls and I just thought they looked really nice set up there and then if we move on this wardrobe is a new addition to his room he didn't have a wardrobe in our last house just because there wasn't enough space and this is one of the IKEA PAX wardrobes. I really recommend these. I've actually done a video on our girls' PAX storage as well, so I will link to that below. This one is a lot smaller, but it's perfect for him and it will be perfect as he grows. So he's got all his clothes in the top part and then he's also got some stuff in the bottom as well. And that is more than fine and perfect for him considering he didn't have a wardrobe at all in our last house. And then moving along to this part of the room, so I've just got a few prints, so that If You're a Bird, I'm a Bird is one of my favourite quotes from one of my favourite films, and if you're not familiar with it, it is The Notebook, and I got that print from a company called Old English Company. We have probably got one of Old English Company's prints in every single room in our house. The owner is actually a very, very old friend of mine, a really nice guy, and so we're always happy to buy his prints and support his business, and I just absolutely love that quote. The bottom one, I can't remember where that was from, but I will try and link to as much as I can below. But I just love that. That's obviously an Elton John lyric, Hold Me Close, A Tiny Dancer. And every night I do a little sort of dance with him and cuddle him. That sounds really silly. And so I just loved that quote. Next along is a banner that is from This Modern Life. Every day is an adventure and I just really liked that. And then if we go down a little bit, this little storage quote, quite great, we've put his books in. That is from, again, Verde Bude, and he loves that. He loves sitting up and playing with it and putting all the books in and out about 100 times a day. And then moving along, those banner, this Wren banner, is from, again, a company on Instagram called Baked Bean Baby, and she makes all these different beautiful kind of... Um, big banners and I just love them. I loved that it had a bird on it as well. So that lives there. And then moving up, this is my favourite part of his room. He actually had these wall stickers in our old house. And when I found out we were moving, before I'd even done anything, before we'd even looked for a house, I got these wall stickers again, just because I was really worried they would sell out and I absolutely loved them. So they're from a company called Truva, and I just really like them. They're really different, they're really individual. They obviously fit in with his name, they fit in with the theme. Our nickname for him is Our Little Bird. And I just really liked them for adding a little bit of colour to the room. They fly up to these bird boxes which are from a company called Maisons de Monde. I don't know if you've ever heard of them but they are massive actually. They do loads of different furniture and accessories and I just thought it was really nice that they were flying up to those bird boxes. Going down, that sticker is a wall sticker and it's from a company called Blossom and Bear which again is on Instagram and I just really liked that. I thought that tied in with the theme really well. His cot is from Bury again and it's a cot bed so it will be really good to change it into a single bed or a toddler bed when he gets a little bit bigger. His sheets are little tiny triangles, they are from Mothercare. That cushion was a present from his grandma. Uh, my mum, my mum's, my husband's mum, sorry, and I just really love it. It's got lots of colour on it and it's actually got a little space in there that he can read his books in years to come and she actually made that herself. She's very talented and I love that in there. He's got one of his Fisher-Price toys in there as well. And then his blanket is from, again, from Maisons de Monde and I really, really like that. So this area of the room is a little bit crazy, but I still really love it. It's actually quite calming as well. And his blind is from a company called webblinds.com. My friend Lucy recommended them to me. They're one of these companies where you send in the dimensions and then a week later they send you the blind. And it's a really good quality. The cord can loop up so it's safe and out of the way, but he's too little to reach it at the moment. And then if you go on to his windowsill, we've got lots going on here. So 
the little flamingo was actually a present from their auntie Paula. She got it from somebody on Facebook, but it actually works better in this room since we moved, so that's where he lives. And then these plant pots I am obsessed with. They are from a company, again, a lady on Instagram called This Way to the Circus. You actually buy them on Etsy. I think she's got a website too, but I bought them on Etsy. And she hand paints all these plant pots, which are absolutely amazing. I am a huge fan of like succulents and cacti, so I love those. I've got these in pretty much every room as well. I've got some in the girls' room too, which are a different pattern. And this little guy is from New Look. I mentioned in New Look in one of my previous old house tours and I said that I love them because they actually do do really nice home accessories and that actually was a present the other day from my mum and so I thought that that could live there. And then as we move along, this light is a few years old now. It used to be in our living room. It's from John Lewis. I doubt they'll have it in stock, but I will check and see if I can link it below if they do. But I just thought that was really nice there. I love the cord, it's quite unusual. And that just sits there and creates sort of a cozy light in the evening time. And then if we go along, this dream catcher, again, is from that place I can't pronounce, Verdebu Day. And I just really liked it. I really liked the star. I thought that was quite unusual. But I also liked it had feathers, which tied in with the bird theme. And I think you're supposed to put dream catchers over the bed, but I just liked it there and I would run out of space. And then if we go down, I have got this armchair, which we got in Made.com's summer sale, so that was really good. I just really wanted an armchair for this corner to make it a little bit cosier. We don't tend to sit on it too much, but I got grey, so if in years to come we don't sit on it in here, then we can put it into a different room because grey is a safe colour. And then the two cushions on there, the back one is from Next. It's actually kind of a knitted red material, which is quite unusual. And then the Dream Big Little One cushion is from H&M. And then if you move on to this wall, I wanted to make this wall a little bit brighter because it was just very, very white, a lot of white. And so I put these wall stickers on, which were from Etsy, and I just think they look really good. They just make the room a little bit more colorful. And then these shelves I absolutely love. I had great fun putting all the trinkets on here. The shelves themselves are from La Redoute, and I just love them. They're quite unusual because they've got the hooks, and they're kind of like a stressed wood and then I will show you what I have put on the shelves. So first up trusty ribber frame from Ikea again and the bless this nest print was from Freddy the Kid on Instagram and then this little guy was from Dunelm I believe actually I think it was from Dunelm and then this caravan my husband always takes the mickey out of me for this actually used to live in our living room I can't remember where it was from I think it was from a company called Tea and Kate but it was years ago and I just love that I just think that's a bit random the lovely wonderful you was just a postcard I got when I ordered the wool sticker from Blossom and Bear and then the world is your oyster. I love getting postcards or cards, greeting cards from Not On The High Street and then just using them in frames. It's just a cheap way of adding artwork and I loved this little kind of 3D airplane. So again, that's from Not On The High Street. These little things I mentioned in his previous home tour, I got these, you'll see them featured quite a lot, lots of different airplanes. And I got them from eBay and it was something ridiculous like, I can't even remember, but less than 10 pounds I think for about 15 aeroplanes I think something like that again I'll try and link to them below if I can this little kind of funny cactus is from this modern life that was from new look this was from oh this one was from Dunelm sorry and that one was from Maison's de Monde I think got lots of birds this little globe again was from Maison's de Monde this little bird it was just one of the like kids toys that they got. I don't know where they even got it from. So that just lives on there. And then these light bulb lights are from Asda and they were reduced from something like 15 pounds to five. So that was an absolute bargain. And then if we go down, we've got more wooden airplanes. Again, another print from Not On The High Street and I just loved this one. One day I went out looking for an adventure. That was the day I found you. You said, would you like an adventure too? Do you remember that day? I do, I think we're having a lovely adventure and I never want it to end. And these funny weird little frames are really cheap from Ikea. 
This clock doesn't actually have a battery in it, it's not the right time, but that is from Ikea as well. I have no idea what this is or where it came from, but that just lives on there. And then we've got more wooden aeroplanes. The print again is from Not On The High Street and I just really liked that. This is actually a rattle which my sister got for Ren when he was born and it's obviously in the shape of a bird and I think it came from America, it was from an Instagram seller in America and so that's quite special and lives there. My mum got this for him again when he was born, it's just a little trinket box. The cactus is from New Look I think, I think it's from New Look, it's like a little light up cactus. These little mushrooms are from Not On The High Street again and I just thought they were nice little trinkets. The bird box was the same as the ones that are on his wall. They came in a pack of three from Maisons de Monde. Another little kind of woolen cactus. And then this bird garland again was from Not On The High Street and I will try and link to it below because I cannot remember what the seller was called. The birds move along, that needs to be moved along a bit. And yeah, that's his shelves. I just really like them for all the different trinkets and I think that they look really nice. So the only last thing to show you in this room is his rug. And as soon as I saw this rug on La Redoute, I just knew that I had to get it. It's one of these really lovely fluffy Berber style rugs, but what makes it a little bit different is it's got lots of color on it. And with La Redoute, it's always worth waiting for the offers. They often have offers on for 20 or 30%, sometimes more off. So never buy full price. But yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I think it's really colorful. It really makes the room feel a lot cosier and yeah that is his room i really hope that you enjoyed the video and see you next time